a hundred women give men sex advice. Now, a lot of you don't really care about this because like, you know, sex advice is like, you need to be having sex. And by a lot of you, I mean myself as well, but also a lot of you as well. So it's time to learn some sex advice, dude. If this is, if, if this is the vagina, like the hole, it's right up in here. Like it, it would be like this. And my nose is the clitoris, but with a little bit of skin over it. <laughs> Oh, they play they're they're playing penis music in the intro for arguably a vagina uh, a, a vagina video. Give men some sex advice. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Give men sex advice. Who? Men. Men. Oh. <laughs> Give men sex advice? Um Bro, where do they find these people, bro? Where does Cut find these people? Like, come on, okay. Sex advice. Oh, man. Oh. Foreplay is everything. Foreplay? 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 Even if she says she doesn't need foreplay, you should always do foreplay. You gotta get her excited and juicy to want to do it. Get it wet. Lick it before you stick it. Don't assume that, like, five seconds of going down on a girl is gonna enough for her to be ready. We want to feel like we are being worshipped. Create the mood to have a good sex. Just at least, like, kiss you for... Ugly girls giving advice, lol. Yeah, I'm sure you're fucking really pretty chatter. Okay. I love I love anonymous Twitch chatter being like, yo, these girls are ugly, bro. Yeah, okay, bro. What do you look like, dumbass? First, massaging and touching a woman in different areas. The breasts are very sensitive. Learn how to use your hands, your voice. But like the noises actually help the girls. It's really attractive. Talking. Make them feel sexy. Just by how you look at them, by how you talk to them. She is going to immediately get, uh, you know, the one emoji with the squirting water? That, that thing. Yeah, she will be an ocean for you. Give men some sex advice. Give men sex advice? Yeah, tell them. These are all the men out there in the world. Find the clit. Know where the clit is. It's not that- Okay, half of this is the same shit. Most of- oh, Of course, leave it up the cut to just like fuck this entire process hard it's all in the clit like stop messing around with everything else <laughs> i mean i mean we have learned that like for most for most women I, it does seem like the main problem that they have with with men is that uh you know men are just not aware of the existence of the clitoris i need you guys to relax on the clitoris okay it's not like a push button it's not a jeopardy button it's not a wheel of fortune spin you can't pop the clit like that not. It's not a scratch record. You don't gotta, you know? <laughs> <laughs> like, stop doing that, okay? And don't do the alphabet. Don't chew on the clitoris like it's a piece of gum. What the fuck? Who the fuck? What? What the fuck is that? There's no shot. What? <laughs> Very specific. <laughs> Bella, <laughs> can you give men some sex advice? Um... Yes. <laughs> you have to not, not be selfish. It's not all about penetration. Penetration is not, you know, what gets a girl off. There are so many fucking ways to please a woman. There is not just your fucking dick inside of her. Think about something other than yourself. Focus on pleasing your partner. Pleasure lady first. If she gives you feedback, don't listen to it through your ego. Leave your ego out of it. It's not about you, okay? Cause you're gonna, you're gonna fucking come. You're, you're gonna nut, all right? So it's not about you, it's about us. I've had sex with men with all about them and I'm just like, cool. There are two kinds- Bro, what's up with Seattle? Like, what's going on? Is it, is it just like, I mean, listen, no disrespect, but like, I, I, and and this doesn't have to be the case, obviously, to give men advice. But like ninety percent of the people don't seem like they they ha are interested in a heterosexual relationship with men. Like what the fuck? <laughs> but like, come on, they they pick like you saying the quiet part out loud. I mean, this is a little. I mean, okay. 
concerned with their own pleasure. And Men told me, well, every other girl I've been with can come really quickly, and I'm like, well, they lied to you. Don't be a one-pump chump. Because a lot of people just go bam, bang, and they're done. We're not a one and done like you. We can keep going. Make sure she comes multiple times. Don't hold- Like, come on. Like, like y you think- you think this lady likes to fuck dudes? I I'm sorry. Like, come on, go ahead. Tell me I'm being uh, ridiculous, okay? Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, be like, oh, wow, this is really fucked up of you, Hassan. Go ahead. Like, what, what do you, do you want me to act like I don't know, uh, like I have no lesbian friends? You know what I mean? Like, what, what do you want me to, do you want me to just like lie to you? By the way, I already qualified and I said, first and foremost, okay, for the record, that doesn't mean that, uh, uh, you know, a lesbian woman can't give it great advice to men. She absolutely can. Are you a tater tot now? I can't believe how problematic this person is being on Twitch. This is insult fuel and Jubilee's doing it on purpose. No, this is the cut. Who better to give advice to men than literal women who fuck women? No, I, I agree. I agree. I agree. This is, this is a remind. This is like the Bill Burr bit though. Yeah. A gun to my head. It's like gun to my head. I'm betting on that. The <laughs> girl I've been with can come really quickly, and I'm like, well, they lied to you. Don't be a one-pump chump. Because a lot of people just go bam, bang, and they're done. We're not a one and done like you. We can keep going. Make sure she comes multiple times. Don't hold back. If, if she's staying in that spot, then stay in that spot. <laughs> if she tells you don't stop, don't stop. When she moves to the left and scoops a little bit, she's showing... Okay, finally, it's like getting to... I mean, a lot of this is so basic. I wish there was like... <sighs> that spot when you get close to your orgasm you go faster if we are like on that edge and then you change momentum you just threw us off the edge <laughs> and now you got to start all over again you know, sex advice for men take your time it's not going anywhere you could probably go slower well you ain't gotta go like that <laughs> if you accidentally hit their cervix maybe don't do it again like that trying to like keep it in and just like jab or like quickly going in and out. We don't need to be jackhammered. That does not feel good. Smooth hip strokes. Okay, watch the hips. You, you like that, okay? <laughs> Can you give men some sex advice? If you're gonna choke someone, don't go for the jugular. It's supposed to be around the sides here. Imagine yourself as a woman. Give men sex advice. Um, straight porn is very not, not very accurate at all. Don't watch a porn. Toys are your ally. Bro, they, bro, she came in with a scooter. I love that. Watch a porn. Toys are your ally, not your enemy. Get a vibrator involved. Give men some sex advice. Ooh. Ask, ask, ask her what she wants. I feel like men are, they just think they know what, what. I mean, some of these are good. Some of these are good. The choking advice is good. Ask women for advice is good. Listen to your partner. That's really good stuff. Obviously, all the clit stuff that they said is good, but it's also like a cliche at this point. Okay? Um, assuming that you know what the fuck is good because you are sexually experienced is a horrible way to go about it. Especially because, one, you most likely aren't, and two, every woman is different, just like every man is different. So, obviously... Look at me. Look at me and my fucking toxically masculine male ass self shutting down women to mansplain, dude. That's what you come in here for, okay? The good stuff. You sit your white ass down and listen, chat. Um, but yeah, no, th there is this is good uh overall. Some of these are cliche though. To do an inquisitive partner is always one that's gonna be the best to you. Be open about what, what you like sexually. You know, if if you for the people saying like, I mean, this person's joking, but like he said, screw what these women think. I want to ask Andrew Tate for advice on how to please women. Andrew Tate, on the record, has said time and time again that sex is not enjoyable for him. Okay, he might kind of be a you know an ace lit, not an ace king, but an ace lit. Okay, just say. To have sexual shame, be open about that too and be honest. There's ace kings, ace queens, ace embies, uh, ace dempers, and then ace lits, okay? Like a man lit. Or he might just, you know, he could be gay. I don't know. <laughs> he, he was so... <laughs> 
He's such a misogynist. He hates women so much that he was just like, I don't even want to fuck him. <laughs> Be honest. Just don't lie. Don't lie. Figure out what you like. Say what you want or say what you're not getting. Explore if you want to talk about fantasies. Because chances are she might be willing to try. Have a conversation about kinks, no-nos, red flags, like all of those things. Talk about it first. Consent is non-negotiable and can be very fun and sexy. First of all, listen. 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 Sit your white ass down and listen. Or know your partner, I'll say that. Learn her. Pay attention. Find out what it is she likes and do a lot of it. And they have to be open to tell you what they want to. I think listening to women is important, but these people genuinely don't seem interested in what men want either. I don't know, just kind of an odd vid. Yeah, it's so weird that a video called 100 Women Give Men Sex Advice doesn't feature what men want. Hmm. I wonder why. Maybe it has something to do with 100 Women Give Men Sex Advice. Perhaps that has something to do with it. Nah, can't be it. Can't be the, the direction of the questions in this situation. Yeah, no. No, it, it must be something different. Something else is at, at something else is a foot here, okay?